what is up, YouTube? I am here, your boy, Mood Tricks, to give you a rundown on one of my favorite characters in my manga. Happy Four Mile Alchemist Brotherhood Day, by the way. So, without further ado, this is the perfect topic for the video. This is the main protagonist, older brother, Jit Mudioto. Now, let's get started. Okay, so if you watch my original video on Gabaya Mudioto, who is the MC of this series of nonce, Jit is his older brother. So what happens is this. Okay, so Jit is very powerful. And if you look at his backstory, you realize that he was secretly envious of Gabaya. But let's go into Jit's origins. Jit was a part of the Federation basketball team for Bayaki. There's a couple of universities or schools, you would say, for Bayaki students to learn how to control their Hyphy Juice, and if you have been keeping up with my manga, Hyphy Juice is the source of energy, just like Ki is, and just like Chakra is in Naruto. So, this right here is really crazy because he excelled in sports, he excelled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, he excelled in jousting, he excelled in everything, and Gabaya was very one-dimensional. He didn't really grow up with a lot of friends, where Jit was the popular guy in high school. So, what happened was this. Okay, so when it came down... To the family meeting to see who was going to be a chosen one to lead on the next generation for the family. Like the main brats from Neji Huger and Hinata Huger. It's similar to that path but it's way different because this is the chosen one who's going to be the gem of the family's success. And that was given to Gabaya Murioto. And he was outraged because I have way better grades than that little shit. Exactly. So basically, Jit was so jealous of Gabaya that he ran from his family and joined the evil tribe. So basically, Jit is one of the strongest villains in the manga. So let's break down his powers a little bit. Jit has the same power of... Goodbye, Mudioto, when you could create everything from your imagination. But it has to be within your physical limitations. Like Gabaya, like I said earlier, could summon Thor's hammer, but he can't lift it, can he? Exactly. His powers have limitations, but they're very creative. And Jit's power is hacks. His ability is so hacks that he is able to create mood elements. Yeah, so Jit can control Mood Fire, and he is really, really OP, and he can still control what Gabaya controls. And that's what's crazy about his archetype. Jit is super overpowered, he's super cocky, and he's super fucking good at what he does. And I'm telling you, his skills are way beyond that. So... My bad. I'm not going to let that shit happen again. Okay, so anyway, without further ado, Jit, his storyline goes like this. So Jit, before he leaves Gabaya, he tells his best friend, Kekko. Kekko is a parody of Kamina, and Kekko is a junior. So Kekko and Jit were best friends, and they were on the basketball team. What happened was Kekko tried... To talk to Jit, but Jit didn't care, and he moved on. And what happened was this. I wanted to save this, but I didn't want to tell you this, because this is a really important thing in my manga, but it's something you must know. If you're truly interested in Jit's character, he joins the evil organization. The exact opposite of what the Federation is, is what Jit joins. Now, I will go into further detail when the next chapters come out. I must not tell you about this evil organization until I at least get two arcs in in the manga. And I will be person at chapter one breakdown of the manga. I have the first power made, but I have to keep going and keep going like how we all have to do. But yes, at the end of the day, Jit is so strong. So let's get into a little bit about Jit's personality. He is so fucking cocky. Like I said in my first video of Gabaya Murioto, Jit is really, really insane because his personality is based on Raditz, but he has the skill of Itachi. And that, he's based off those two brothers. That's exactly what you get. when you get, It's basically the Raditz that never left, basically. He is so fucking powerful. And it's hard to fuck with him. He 
So let's put in this. Since we're talking about brothers, I'm going to put this. Okay, so this isn't his rival. I want to let you know, element in my manga is sometimes the things you don't expect to have weight doesn't have weight. So let me put this. So Boomer Red Dodger, we all know that that's the main shonen archetype for the rival of the main character. So Boomer has an older brother. Just like Gabaya has an older brother. But you know what the difference is? Boomer and his older brother don't really talk, and they're just nothing. They're just biological siblings. They have nothing in common. They are completely different. And no, Jit doesn't team up with Boomer's brother because that's another element to my manga. He is unpredictable. And that is another reason why this is a more realistic anime. It's more realistic manga. You would think that, oh, um, it makes perfect sense because it's a Ryan gas play. Since they both have older brothers, they should team up and then they fight the little brothers together. No! That's exactly what doesn't happen. Sheen is his name and he is just an extra character. Boomer, on the other hand, is more relevant. And like what I'm saying, so let's get back to Jit a little bit. So Jit has two older brothers and he is Damo and Babila Mudiota. They are half-brothers of Gabaya Mudioto and Jit Mudioto. So, without further ado, this is the second half of Jit's video. His aberration, who inspired him with a dynamic duo of the Mudioto family, Damo Mudioto and Babylon Mudioto, which is based off my two older half brothers in real life. So, their abilities are hacks just like Jit. They have even more hacks abilities than Jit, and I'm gonna, they're gonna get their own video pretty soon, so stay tuned. So basically, Jit grew up trying to live up to the standard of Demo and Babylon Mudioto, which is Federation captain level. And if you don't know, if you want a fair comparison, it's just like a Soul Society captain, but they're not card captains, alright? So, this right here is really good because he looked up to Demo and Babylon Mudioto. Now, they don't have a problem with Gabaya like how Jit does. But at times they all gang up and be on them and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, like they're they're older brothers and they fit the older brother archetype. But what inspires Jit to get so strong and why he's stronger than Gabaya was kind of the parallel I was in real life. You see, I was uh, when I was younger, I didn't care to fit in. I didn't try to fit in. I was in my own little world, and that's exactly what Gabaya is in the manga. So he didn't care that his brothers were dead. He had himself and he had his imagination and he was super talented. Still, he didn't have to prove anything to anyone else because he loved himself. He loved he is Glad that he woke up, basically. So, yeah. So, um... Jit Mudioto hates Gabaya for being so content. And he's always telling him to step his game up. He's always telling him, oh, if you don't do this, you gotta end up bad. And stuff like that. When really, he's the one taking it too seriously. So, yeah. So, Jit it always wants to be like his older brothers. That's why he hates Gabaya for not being like his older brothers. He wanna know how they were. His older brothers, Bobby La Mudioto... And Damo Mudioto were the school jocks before Jit was. And they taught Jit everything. You know, he wanted to be just like his older brother. So that's why he strove so hard. And irony, his older brother are not necessarily bad guys. But they do have bad intentions. See what happened is his older brothers became rogue. Because they were so powerful, they felt like they should have got more credit for the work they put in. Just like Jit felt like he should get more credit for the work he put in. And there's a life lesson that goes into that shit once I read the manga. But anyway, Demo and Bobby La Mudioto are so powerful that the government doesn't give them shit because they are captain level. So they live on their own and they stay away from the Federation. They don't do work for the Federation, but if their family gets involved, if there's a natural war crisis, they will come and help, especially if they pay him. Oh, yeah, you got to pay my older brothers. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah, Demo and Bobby La Mudioto are twice as powerful as Jit is, but they're Captain Love. They are, they were actually a part of a great hero team that was selected by Iroku Furiaka, but they left the Federation because they felt like they weren't getting enough credit. So, yeah, that basically sums up Jit's inspiration for becoming a bad guy from falling into his brother's footsteps. Okay, so that is the brother of the protagonist of the series of Nons. And his name is Gabaya Murioto. And his brother, who I just explained, this is his video, people. This is Jit Murioto. Now, stay tuned for next character profile of Nons. This is Mutrix, aka Riz Anarchy, and I'm out.